Now, if x is so small that x cube and higher powers of x may be neglected, then we'll need to find the approximate result of 1 plus x to the power 3 by 2 minus 1 plus x by 2 to the power 3 upon 1 minus x to the power 1 by 2. So you'll encounter such problems in physics. So what I'll do is I'll start expanding, right? So I'll write it as, so this is 1 plus x to the power 3 by 2 and then minus 1 plus x by 2 to the power 3 and I'll write it as 1 minus x to the power minus 1 by 2. So I can write it as 1 plus nx and this is n n minus 1 upon factorial 2 x square I'll ignore all the parts which are x cube and greater than x cube minus 1 plus again n which is 3 x by 2 and then n n minus 1 upon factorial 2 x by 2 whole square and again for this I'll write 1 minus 1 by 2 into minus x and then minus 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2 minus 1 upon factorial 2 into minus x whole square. So I can write it as, so this is 1 plus 3 by 2 x and then plus, so it will be 3 by 2 into 1 by 2 upon factorial 2 x square. This is minus 1 plus 3 x by 2 and here will be, so 2 and 2 will cancel, so it will be 3 by 4 x square and here will be 1 minus x by 2 and then minus and minus will be plus so it will be 1 by 2 into 3 by 2 upon factorial 2 into x square so i can cancel this one and i can also cancel 3x by 2 so now what i'm left with is so here i'll get 3 by 8 x square and then minus 3 by 4 x square and here i'll need to write 1 minus x by 2 and I'll ignore all the terms because here my simplest power is x square. So if I simplify, I'll get minus 3 by 8 x square, ignoring all the parts, which is x cube or higher parts of x and then 1 minus x by 2. So if I'll multiply it inside, then I can approximate it as 3 by 8 into x square. So I'll ignore x cube, all other parts. So this expression may be approximated as minus 3 by 8 x square.